Hi, in this video of Bootstrap, we are going to work with buttons. Basically, whenever you create a form and you want to submit it or if you want to perform any action, buttons are the very important control for that. So here, when we will start working with the CSS classes provided for buttons, we are going to get few classes like BTN. BTN is the base class for any button control. Uh, BTN primary, if you want to put, uh, means by default, all these classes will give different colors to the button, like dark blue, blue, information, uh, warning, orange, red uh, for danger. All right. So basically, the difference will be of color, except BTN link, which will look like a hyperlink text, not a button. All right. So on the basis of color, like if you want to use red button for a normal task, you can go for BTN danger class. All right. But by default, as I said, these classes will give you only difference in the color as per the designing is concerned. So let's see how to implement buttons in Bootstrap CSS classes. So on the basis of the appearance of the buttons, let's start customizing the appearance. So as we did in the text, like we classified the different text colors on the base of the primary success info warning danger. Similarly, here in the case of buttons also, we have the same things. So first of all, we will have to start with the class BTN. So if you are not even using a button, if you are using any hyperlink also, you can make the look of that hyperlink as a button. And once it is set as button, you can set like how you want your button to be displayed. So as I said, it's just the matter of color. It will change the default color of the particular button. So when I execute this, here you can see it is, it is the default button. This one is primary button, success button, info button, warning button, danger button. And here, since it is a button also, but it is looking like a hyperlink. All right. So these are the different classes which you can use for customizing the appearances of the button. Now, let's discuss more about the size of each buttons that we have. So for changing the size, what I'll do, I will just add few more classes right after like BTN LG for making your button larger than the normal one. Similarly, BTN LG again for the primary. So these two buttons, the first two buttons will be much bigger than the default size. Similarly, the next two buttons that is for success and info, they will be smaller in size as here I have used BTN SM. So it will be smaller than the default size of the button. And similarly, right after that, what I have used, I have used a class BTN block for the warning button. So BTN block means it will contain the complete width of the window. If you will put that inside any TD or TR, so whatever the available length is there, it will occupy the complete width of the current window. And nothing, no changes for the last two, that is for danger and link. So they will appear in the default size so you can compare them with the others. So as here you can see, the, these are the larger buttons, these are the smaller buttons and these are the normal size button. And here in between, this warning button is the block, all right? In case if you want to disable any, you can do that as well. So for doing that, what you can do, let me disable this warning button. So I will just add one more class that is disabled. So when I'll do, you see now it is changed and now it will be disabled. If you will do any operation on this click, nothing will take place. Apart from that, you can also disable a button by using the attribute called disabled is equal to disabled. So when I'll save it, I'll come here and refresh. You see, it will also disable the danger button. So this is how you can start working with the buttons in the bootstrap. As I said that if you will take any anchor tag as well, let me use it once. So like href is equal to like for the current page. All right. And here I will use a class btn space btn primary. All right, and this is 
hyperlink. So let's come here and refresh. So here you can see this is a hyperlink but looking like a button since I have decorated that with this BTN class and apart from that I have used BTN primary so it is looking like a primary button as we have seen earlier. So these are the things which you can use from bootstrap to decorate your page with different kind of buttons.